welcome to the party links in general. We're coming to you live on TNT Sports from the York Barbican. He's more than capable of these tun topping out, so he better take this out. 17. First start a problem. Two. Yeah, and he's got a problem if he comes back as well. Double five, far from ideal. Triple 14, surely. Gets it, tops. Brilliant from Housen, a little bit of a steal. But Chris mentioned Neil Duff knows about the credentials of Richie Housen on ton plus finishes, and he showed it there. Bra Richie O'Carroll, 102 to win leg two. It'll be treble 18 now. And the double. In the double. Richie Houghton. Checking out from Richie Houghton against Neil Duff is continuing here. Four. It looks like that is the most likely outcome at the interval. One out of Good stuff from Duff. Going for the bullseye and shoe at a two dart, whether it was 71 or 96. And gets a better of those two by bedding the ball. Oh, brilliant from Neil Durf, and he needed Neil that Durf. just to stay in touch. And uh, Richie Housen with a couple of ton plus finishes in that opening session. He was the better player. Thornton hung on in there at times. But Duff just had a little bit too much for the defending champion. 18. And he's had a little bit too New much New for Carl Richie Housen since we've come back from the break here. Yeah, he's improved. Housen has regressed. It's a bit of a mid-match slump, this, for Richie Housen. He's shown the eight player. He's taking full New advantage. Richie, the third first. Game on. Plenty of time. Not to dwell, but to refocus and... 100, Richie O'Connor, right. 16. If he misses this time, there is danger. Yeah, and that one seems a fair way away. Game that one is in. And Houston leads again. Game on. Death. Double top. Well, I think he got some encouragement there, but it came at the wrong time. Might just break any nerves, though, that. Nerve of steel, and Neil Duff leveled at seven apiece. Like the game has to be won now by two clear legs. So the match gets to ten legs all. The 21st leg will be a sudden death game. 15th leg, Richie to third first. Game on. In the second leg of this match, Double top. 82. Neil Duff could Richard have taken it out in what he would have hoped would have been the second to last leg of the match. He still may come back, though. Oh, look at that ride in the corner. Neil Duff thinks it's going. He it is going. Well, he made it. his move. He had a chance, Neil Duff, Duff, but it's the same on. scenario. So much to aim for that treble 20. Was it worth a gamble? We've seen a 1 5 1 from Neil Duff. We're not going to see it from House. And he's unraveling here slightly, Richie. 43. He's held himself together pretty well. But poor, two poor back to back visits. Duff has had a dart to lead against the darts. And he's going to get two more here. He only he's needs the one. He needed a break. He's got yeah. his break. And now Neil Duff hasn't led in this match. Will now throw for a place in the semi finals of the conventional play. If it does go 10-all, Housen just would have the darts in that sudden death leg. 95. Death leaves 100, and that's what he took to gain the initiative in this match in the previous leg. But Housen... Oh, here we go. 18, and then just hope. What? He's what? left the chance, and he just hopes that Neil Death can convert a second consecutive 100 finish to book his place in the semi-final. Tops, tops. Another. Oh, what a Game win to win it. Neil Duff. 
nil tough does the business in the end Richie how yeah and it's funny that the, with the challenge tour you know on that first one players play so much different than they do the fifth one on the third day it's 100 Jimmy Carr 25 but, um, yeah you might be looking to take this out and this is his usual route to go for the double 12. Game and shot on the second the leg. Why. Jim McEwen, further coming to through first. Oh, Neat tidy legs. Game on. That you can gamble on the treble 50 and the treble 19. He's aiming for the 25, which have then left, left him 16 or 20 options. Single to double, basically. But he's still got a bit to do now. 139. And we'll get a dart for 4 2 18. lead if he stays straight. Good pressure from McEwen, though. It's another single one of those. It's tops on the right hand side. He's and he gets it. He enjoyed that Kevin one, Kevin Painter. Timing. He's been under pressure on his own throw, but it's Kevin who's found the own. McEwen now. May just be one. That's going to be two if he needs them at double ten. And he's, he's landed a dart at double ten there. Again, he's a way off. That's close to Kevin O'Connor, 20. The double ten. Doesn't seem comfortable on that side of the ball today, Jim. Yeah, and you can have days like that. But Kevin Painter has now got to be comfortable on that side of the Game ball. Game shot on the 10th And Kevin Painter. Two, set, uh, two leg lead again. Leg. Business end this match. It was tight in the first one. Reminder, Neil Duff, our only confirmed semi-finalist so far, awaits the winner of this one. He came through 11-9 against Richie House. And, and look at this from McEwen. Tops for the 142. 122. I'm Kevin Painter, I'd be thinking if I can hit something decent here, McEwen has not been prolific on double ten. Jim Car 20. Hasn't. Yeah, then it just gives Jim time. Just gliding along. This is where Jim has to be careful though. Yes, Kevin's not on a finish. But if you go inside and start messing around with double five, yeah, that, ten. he could invite problems here. Ninety-four, Jimmy Lucar, ten. Does he two this up or does he go straight at it? It looks like he's going straight at it. Game shot on the twelfth leg. Jim McEwen roll from Jim McEwen. We heard him say roll. We heard him just cheating himself up. Game on. One six two in the last leg as well. So McEwen doesn't even need to bring the ball into play here. Generally, you see players would have gone twenty twenty ball if their opponent was on a finish, but he can just set this up. 12 or a single 20. 15. There we are. That's fine. Paints just needs to bring this down and hope for some errors. And Jim needs to walk back from the board and think in positivity, positivity. 92. Jim Lucar, 40. Got to be aggressive here, McEwen. The panic will come if he drops low because double 10 has been his nemesis in this match. Game not on this occasion, play. and we Jim again are going and into the extra legs. Seven legs all. It has to be won by two clear legs. So the match gets to ten legs all. The 21st leg will be a sudden death game. 15th leg, Kevin to throw first. Game on. He's had a go at 1-4-2, missed on the double. It's on here. Options, treble 19, treble 15. I assure you that was for treble 15. It's just a bit wayward. It's got to tidy this up. Slight lack of concentration there. He thought he was just going to go through the motion. He's going to drop in. 130 for Painter. He'll go for treble 20 again for double five. No, he didn't. He meant for the ball. He meant that big high dart. 93. And once again, he hasn't even hit the 25. This is tricky, though. May just be one for McEwen. And it is going to be one. 16 for double top to lead for the first time in the match. And he gets the double top and does lead Jim for the McEwen. first time in the match. And Jim McEwen will now throw for the place in the semi finals and set it. A 97. And that is a big, big dart again. Treble 19 to the rescue for Chucky. 100. Jim McCarr, 129. Doesn't need to bring the ball into play here, Jim McEwen. He'll settle for a score of 89. Now then, it's 72 left. 
Just another 16, and he returned with some match darts. 89. At this point, McEwen will be thinking, I've worked hard to get this a chance. That's what goes through 16. the player's head when they Give come to the board. 40. For another big performance from Jim McEwen when he's had to dig in. And Good double ten hasn't been match. kind to him Jim the match, McEwen. but it is kind for him on the match there. Kevin Painter led throughout, but it's Jim McEwen again in extra legs. Through qualifiers, Leonard Gates won the golden ticket qualifier on the Golden Mile in Blackpool. One of the days! That happened the day before the event, and he hit plenty of 180s like that on route, and then went and won the whole tournament. One hundred and fourteen. Seen a lot of Leonard Gates. He's featured in the Grand Slam of Darts last year. Game show the first leg, leg Leonard here Gates. on throw at one eighty, and he's got a chance to break here. Leonard Gates he needs the treble. Can't get it. Ninety-eight. Did you count twenty? So David Cameron. Game show on the fourth leg. Ten. David Cameron. Looks like Leonard is in first. So far, just getting a sense of the feeling. Bullseye for the break for David Cameron, and he pulls it. What did you count? One hundred twenty-four. Make a back. Similar kind of shot for Leonard Gates. One treble gives him a go at the ball. Two gets him to the outer ring. Bullseye it is. Bullseye it is. Leonard Gates. What Cameron couldn't do. Leonard Six Gates could. He first. holds on to his Game throw. One. Up for 20. Double five. 79. David Carr, 100. A chance to break has gone begging. Will it be punished? A good dart from Cameron. Double 10. Ah, he shot on the eighth leg. David well. Cameron. Both like players are just feeding first. off each other here. Eight legs played, all holds a throw. We're none the wiser who's going to be our third semi finalist. One of the ladies! Up for 20. Double five. 79. David Carr, 100. A chance to break has gone begging. Will it be punished? A good dart from Cameron. Double ten. Ah, Being shot on the eighth leg. David well. Cameron. Both like players are just feeding first. off each other here. Eight legs played. All holds a throw. We're none the wiser. Who's going to be our third semi-finalist? One of the ladies. Wonderful that from Leonard Gates. Having just missed a chance to break. He's very, very headstrong. Could have been thinking about the chance that he missed. What are the Instead, it's hit, hit, hit. But speaking of headstrong, what? A... One hundred. Waiting if Did Cameron can take 70? the seventy. We expect him to, because that's what's happened all game with both players. Tops for Cameron. 15. Now then. What did you count? One hundred and one. Well, he could still do this. He'd get away with that. Needed the treble 41. to rescue the shot. Did you count 20? Game oh, shot on the 12 leg. Again. David Cameron. 12 legs played all on the throw. Leonard to throw first. Game on. Leonard Gates. Gentlemen, so the match has now reached seven legs all. The match has to be won by two clear legs. So the match gets to 10 legs all. The 21st leg will be a sudden death leg. 15th leg, Clement to throw first, game on. And so, well, he has a chance, but it's an outside chance and it's not going to go. So Cameron has every chance. 55. Extending the encounter for at least another couple of legs. Over to level six. And he's on the 16th six. leg. David so Cameron. He comes inside, so he's going to throw first, game on. Eight start incoming, minimum one. 20 for tops for Gates to end an absolute thriller here. 
Cameron, see the frustration. Six. Cameron has had to bail himself out on double three earlier in the match. Can he do it again? Game shot yes, eight he can. Flag. Jamie Cameron, 19. Two legs. Is this his chance? He will get a go at least the bullseye, barring a disaster here. It is the bull to bring an end to a quite brilliant display. 98. So close. David Carl, 100. Oh, Cameron has been up to this sort of challenge throughout the match. Can he do it again? Is it top stops? He can't find the treble. And he needs more luck here. Gates already missed one match. Well, two match darts. Should get two more here if he needs them. Does have two at double eight. Game. And it goes in for Leonard Gates, Leonard Gates. Who takes a step towards that hat trick. Another brilliant, fabulous. Met before some 21 years ago. We met in the Eastbourne Open. And Paul Hogan was around the south of England playing in such a event, which he's continued to do for the following 20 years. Phil Taylor had greater ambitions and achieved greater and the greatest honours in the sport time after time. Taylor won on that occasion, by the way. So all those years later, more than a couple of decades, Hogan gets his chance to get a big win against the biggest name ever in darts. And that player is looking at he top, the second and he's top. Who Perfect. Let me disappoint that last visit of 45 but it's on oh, well and truly now down for double 19 what a shot this would be and unlucky 20. side relief for Paul Hogan for the car 20 yeah that was really really close Hogan will be very very relieved he shot the fourth leg. Paul Hogan. You can almost see that in his expression there. It wasn't one of celebration. Just happy to have got Game the match on. level to a camp. Just 320s would be absolutely fine. Yeah. Six you're right there. Just, just keep everything safe. And he's done that. And it'll be three at tops for a 4-2 lead. And after the bright start from Phil Taylor, he's tailed off slightly here. And it's encouraged Paul Hogan. And looking. 77. Paul a bit of daylight 40. in this final quarter final this afternoon. Can Hogan get a hold over Taylor? Game shot of the six yeah. leg. Paul that Hogan. That break and throw gives him a 4 2 advantage going into the interval. A 5 2 lead. Good lead. Well, this could get tricky for Taylor. It doesn't have to go for the ball now. By finding that treble, he gets a dart at double seven. Oh, nicely done from Ben Taylor, who just who won't Taylor? roll over. Apex never did, never first. will. We saw that yesterday, despite it being a, a real scrap. A real struggle for the pack. To restore the two-leg cushion. Twenty-five. Fancy Hogan that, I'm sure he did as well. It is his favourite double. Now, big, big moment for Phil Taylor. All he doesn't want to hit with the first dart is a single one. And he almost did. Shot still on. Options here. He's got the first tops. Doesn't look a great lie though, Game but it clearly was leg. brilliant from Phil Taylor. Taylor. Opportunity missed again for Paul Hogan, back-to-back -back legs Nine for Taylor. Three, and we're level again, bit Game of a shake more. of the head from Hogan. I'll get the opportunity to lead this match. Still treble 20 for double 16. He gets it. What a shot this would be from Taylor. Game and he hits the, the shot. Man. He's Who's rallying there? here, Phil Taylor. Was full. Could have actually opted to leave his favourite double there. After that misfire. 100. Paul Lucar, 40. Well, messed about a little bit here, Hogan. But we'll settle for three darts in hand at tops. There's two gone. 
Game shot the left side. He's two legs oh, away. Drop like Phil to throw first. Game. Has the time come for Hogan? Is it last orders for Phil Taylor? 140. And tees up tops to leave Taylor treading on the tungsten trap door. 60. Paul Milcar, 40. For the match and a big victory for Paul Hogan. Over to double 10. Got to be careful to drift inside, yeah, and he does, and he hits the, the double 10. It was an improved performance from Phil Taylor, but it wasn't enough to take out Paul Hogan. He was impressive in defeating Scott Mitchell yesterday. And Tournament. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, when he beats through first. Canada's David Cameron, and guiding you through the action tonight alongside myself, Chris Murphy. It's a very good evening to Mark Webster. Yeah, two players who had to work really hard this afternoon. Had to chase in their semi uh, in their quarterfinals, I should say, to book their place in this semi-final. Jim McEwen, very patient, and he's Kevin Painton. Neil Duff, even more patient. He break in in the 19th leg before converting. This. So, 20 for tops now for the opening leg for Neil Duff. Could be awkward. 34. Yeah, proved to be awkward. Jim McCarr, 130. He only chipped 40 off the previous score. So only gets a dart at the bullseye to break in the opening leg. He's shown the first But that's all he needs. Jim McEwen. A play. Double top. He's shown the fourth leg. Stuff. Jim McEwen. Fabulous finish. Good he had a 130 in the first Game leg, on. a 111 in the fourth, and a 3 1 advantage for the Scotsman. With a lead of two legs, at least Jim McEwen. He can find another treble here, Neil Duff. One out of the Neil, that's a good question of this 68. 68. Biggest moments of the semi final incoming. Will be one dart. That is favoured double. Game shot of the and that's why Jim McEwen. Jim McEwen loves it there. He locates it. And it's a very strong showing from the Scots. Just wonder if he thinks about just splitting and not getting himself in the same position. Just waste a dart straight away and then you've got two at double. It depends how comfortable you are on double four. Though I'm, I wasn't very comfortable on double four, so I used to just go straight for it. 102. What's the approach from Duff? Straight at it. Well, that's even worse than the first one. That's even worse than the first one going there because it now means there is no Six. out. Jim McCarr, 57. And Jim McEwen cannot believe his luck. Lucky Chucky. Tops for 6 2 and back to back steals in legs. And it is on the eighth leg. a missile test. Jim McEwen. Neil Got to work with that dart. That's the perfect first dart for Neil Duff. And he does what work with it. it. Glimmer of hope for Neil Duff. One hundred and twenty-three. Neil Duff responds from the queue and it leaves him on a three darter compared to Duff's two darter, which can be completed. On double 18 again, he's left a dodgy double. 78. Jim McCarr, 99. Awkward for Jim McEwen. Start on the treble 19, and generally, if you hit the 19, you go tops, tops. It's treble 20 now for double 16. Can't find it. So more opportunities than Neil Duff, but he won't relish going for his double nine. It's a Neil similar conundrum to double five. You can. Come inside and have to start messing around. But that's Game more like it. And it's a break Neil back Duff. for Neil Duff. He's still with his last star in the previous visit. Missed the 12. Drifted into the 9, so has to split this. Double top. 
big start for Neil, uh, for Jim McEwen. Well, for Neil Duff as well. 23. And he's getting agitated. Car 43. It ends up being a good dart for Neil Duff, a dart that will give him two darts. Can he do what McEwen couldn't? Game shot the 12 yes, he can. Neil Duff. It's game on. 30 Neil Duff through first. A little bit of darting options on this. He loves top, so treble 18 will be the gamble he takes. Now it's 90. Does get treble 18 this time, but not to leave top, to leave double 18, which is quite obscured, as you can see. What can he see? He Enough. And out of nowhere, McEwen. McEwen has stemmed the tide. And suddenly, the Scotsman back unless Neil Duff can take out a 136. We've seen it this weekend already, but we're not going to see it again. 96. Jim and it's Jim McEwen for a place in the final. Yeah, couldn't take that final step in terms of qualifying for these seniors TV tournaments. Time after time, he was denied at the latter stages, including in finals. 40. He's not Jim yet 40. in this final. Duff breathes again. Over to his problem side of the board. Well, it's been his problem in this final. To stay in, Neil Duff needs this double turn and he can't get it. Offered more opportunities for Jim McEwen. Can he lay some darting demons to rest by defeating Duff? Yes, he can. And McEwen is the man who makes the final. It's his first appearance in a seniors team. A match against David Cameron. It looks like it's going to be broken instantly here. 114. Paul Newell Car 8. Double 4 to do just that. He the first and he's been line. good at getting on top early in this tournament. 60 for starters. 51. That one gets away from him. So we're going to go Paul on the Car ball. 116. And Hogan. Can double his lead. Needs the treble for double 18. Gets it. He's been good at that throughout the tournament. Just sitting on top of a dart that's below the bottom wire. Can he hit the double 18? He's, He's right the in the corner. Line. He doubles oh, his lead. This is a bright double start from Paul Hogan. Reminder on. awaiting in the final, Jim McEwen. He's just defeated it into a 3-2 lead and guaranteed he can trail at the first break. 42, running your car, 32. Game yeah, shot looking for the and all of a sudden. Six leg ball, the third first. Game on. Running was... your car, wall, 21. Elevens gets three of them, so double 14. Oh, that's a wonderful finish, and it's a wonderful spell. After a wonderful start from his opponent, Paul Hogan picked up the first two legs, had 116 checkout to lead 2-0, but it's a 121 finish that sees Leonard Gates visit from Paul Hogan. It only gets him down to 156, but he will get a go at that. 100, Paul Hogan, 156. It would have ended on that double 18 though on five six, but it may come down to Hogan 16. finding well, did you a big finish to get that break back. But in the meantime, Gates double 10 for six three, three away from the final, and Gates it is six three. Well, and, Gates. and he gets a free double hit now before Hogan starts. Game on. Just tap. One hundred. Paul Car fifty-seven. So single seventeen gets him two darts. The tops. Game shot the twelve leg. Paul Hogan. Hanging on in there, the reacting to each treble that his opponent hit. Then shaking his head as if to say, "When's he going to stop?" All right, twelves here. To leave the bolt. 56, thank you. Paul Lucas, 61. 
Paul Hogan will maybe look at the 25. Always the risk of hitting anything on the board, any segment. Well, segment he does hit leaves 54. So if he wants double 18, he can hit a single 18 to get there. That's the risk, though. That has obscured his view. To level as earth. Well, it clearly did the obscure his view, and we are Paul level. Hogan. Credit to Paul Hogan. He's hung around in his side. He's chased. He's been taken. And he might have just handed a, a glorious opportunity to Gates to win the match. And that is just the problem because he would have had a go at a double here. Yeah, if he'd have one thought about the shot, he's got a big ass, but Leonard Gates to finish in style. Shanghai, and he's going to get a match start if he stays straight. Tops to end another thriller involving Leonard Gates, and it does end on a 120 finish. Easy if it did. McEwen not really got going this opening leg. So Gates will return with that in hand for double top. For an early lead. Game show goes, the first and away he goes. Leonard Gates. Second leg to the throw first. Game on. Takes the first leg, a man. 97. Absolutely disastrous visit that for McEwen. And his trouble may get worse here. Game show the fourth leg. Leonard Gates. And now then, there's real Fifth danger leg, to throw first. for Jim McEwen. Game on. Darts. Yes, could still go into the break. Just two legs behind. And that would be a result well, after the start, wouldn't it, for McEwen? Jim McCarr, 117. He's again, as Mark mentioned, just not allowed any margin for error. He's the treble 19. He needs this, Jim McEwen. Gets it. Tops. Yeah, Brilliant from Jim McEwen. Jim Gets McEwen. the dart as well and could still get in at that break, like Chris said, at 4-2 and that. Yeah, shaking his head before that visit as well. He, as good as admitting it, he doesn't feel he's going to get this 1-3-7. He hasn't. And, yeah, Jim McEwen frustrated. Oh, he rightly said, it's been some torn. It's not over yet. It will take a remarkable turnaround, but... Game shot on the eighth and leg. That's what will disappoint McEwen. He's broken that's twice, but allowed to be broken pass. in the next leg Game straight on. away. With a big one. First part done. He's OK. He gets a go at the bullseye. But he can't find it, and it's at 64, 64 again for Leonard Gates. Yeah, bust this earlier on. Double 16 for 8-2. 32. Jim McCarr, 25. So a chance for McEwen to hold his throw for the first time in the final. Game shot of the 10th leg. Jim McEwen. A couple of visits if he needs him. Forty-eight. Loose last start. Yeah, it's not a nice finish for McEwen to be on, knowing he needs it to keep clinging to the cliff edge. Eighty-three. Junior car ninety-three. Should have just stayed on the treble twenty, Leonard Gates. That's a great dart. It earns him two, a double 18. And that should be some kind of help. Game and it is. On the flag. An assist Jim from McEwen. the first dart. Those little mistakes that have just crept in there for Jim McEwen. And this is really One good stuff from Leonard Gates. Just shows how headstrong he is. He's had that sort of little mid-match wobble. But he's back in control and 81 points after nine darts thrown in a leg that he knows if he wins, he is the champion here in York. 100. Well, well, Chucky has jumped everything at him for the last few minutes of this match, but Leonard Gates knows how to win these finals. He'll go for the bullseye. But that's half the accident. Yeah, could be a good leave in the end. Well, it, well, it is a good leave. And for Jim McEwen... He's had a great run here. As I said, victories over Durant, Painter and Duff. He's just fallen short, you feel, in this final. But it's been a great effort. But One incoming are some championship darts for Leonard Gates.
Game shot. But it is a hat trick. The Jennings back to Wilson. Who's glorious World once again? Senior's first play champion. Leonard Gay! The World Seniors match play champion to go along with his other crowns. He was the master. He was the champion of champions. And he makes it three on the spin. Let presentation party to the stage from Jenny's Benz, the Derek Summers, and from the World Seniors, Donald Storm, is the Kevin Cresswell. What a wonderful tournament we have had, ladies and gentlemen, and we are ready, the players are ready, and it's trophy time. So receiving the medal, ladies and gentlemen, your Jenny's Benz World Seniors match play finalist for 2023 is Chucky Jim McEwan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, receiving the medal, the coveted trophy, and most important of all, the title of the Jennings Bet World Seniors Match Play Champion of 2023, the dancing soldier, Leonard Gay! The Jennings Bet World Seniors Match Play Champion of 2023, the soldier, Leonard Gay!